Each year, national and local home builders associations put on wonderful parades of homes and also various showcases. Now, in this case, a showcase of playhouses. Designing Texas reporter Nicole Brindy has the scoop on what the pint-sized folks are looking for this year. It's today's Finishing Touch. Want to know the secret recipe for the best play date ever? How about building an unforgettable playhouse? Cinderella's fairy godmother could not have dreamed up a mini mansion like this one. So why the posh playhouse craze? I guess it just brings the, back the kid and everybody. You look in here and you go, wow, it's just amazing what, what is in each of these playhouses. Today's families want it all, big or small. Say all aboard in your very own train depot, for example, or take it slow like the folks did from the little house on the prairie. The whole concept of the playhouse has really developed throughout the years. It's not just a piece of cardboard these days, is it? <laughs> oh no, it's not a kit anymore. It's a, it's a labor of love and a, a lot of thought and, a, and the materials and the, and the theme that we've put together uh, for each of these playhouses is certainly uh, significant and different and try to give somebody a, you know, a really nice example of what can be done with a, with a little creativity and not something that you would find in a kit form and put together with a, a, you know, a, a screwdriver. <laughs> Well, absolutely, and I know you uh, were the designer for this house, the architect. Yes. What materials did it take, or how much effort did you put in this house? Well, we, it was a collaboration with uh, you know a number of people with the interior design team, the, uh, the who is also the builder of this particular house, and uh, and we developed a kind of a Key West theme in this particular house, and uh, uh, a little South Beach with, as you can see, with the with the parrot and the and the, and the seahorses. There were uh, really really a unique feature that uh, it took a lot of time to develop that to really be uh, distinctive. And it's what's in the inside that counts too. Check out what this seahorse manor offers you. Some of the things that are inside that just kind of makes it fun are um, we have a loft upstairs. You really can't stand up in it and the kids really can't but it's a little reading area. And we have the little kitchen area and downstairs we have a plasma TV. And Corian countertops. Yes, Corian countertops. Food, we have play food in there, all this stuff for the kitchen area. It's just really fun and you can just get in there and just play all day long and be a kid at heart. How much does it cost to fulfill a child's dream of having one of these homes? Oh, money's not an issue, you know, <laughs> for, for the right house. The materials uh, in, in, involved in this house, uh, it was all donated by our suppliers and by the builders. and. And these houses typically will auction for hopefully somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Okay, well it's a luxury item, but there's no place like home for everybody, right? That's, that's correct. <laughs> if they were just a little bit bigger, I could live there. This week to me, home is peace of mind. We'll see you next time.